have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Thompson from eResearch. How are you today, Chris? I'm great, Tracy. Thanks. Well, today we're having a conversation about a new report I just received over the holidays on Doubtable Technology Corporation, and that is TSX Venture DAC. Is that correct? That is correct, Tracy. All right. How about we just start with where is this technology company in the market? Well, they have a very interesting product. It's a software as a solution company uh, that works with a lot of the large consumer packaged good companies and brands uh, to create uh, micro sites for promotions and coupons. And it's very important in the market right now because of the privacy concerns. Uh, you know, they're turning off a lot of the cookie tracking, et cetera. So this is a way uh, for these larger corporations to get first party data information about their consumers and interact with directly with the consumers on an opt-in basis. So really important in the marketplace right now. Okay, and, and unique characteristics. You were explaining to me prior to this interview, some competitive reasons why investors should be looking at Datable technology. Yeah, well, right now, I mean, they just made a recent acquisition of a company called Dabble. Uh, and Dabble is very similar to them in the space, but they actually do, uh, things like short quizzes and surveys and, and watching uh, videos and they can earn points and coupons with, with again, with uh, consumer packaged goods companies. So there's a natural synergy between these two companies uh, and they're coming together and uh, the revenue growth uh, should double uh, the um, Datable's uh, revenue uh, going forward for 2022. So it looks like a very positive acquisition for them uh, and very synergistic as well. And of course, for a company who's, who has a very small market cap, they have some big Fortune 500 companies as clients. Yeah, it's amazing. They work with like 25 of, of the largest uh, consumer packaged goods companies and 50 of the world top brands. And so they're involved in things when you go into a store, uh, you know, if you, and you buy a DVD and there's a coupon on it, uh, they create the micro site for you to go in and register. And then they're using that information uh, these companies working with them, you get other coupons and other tracking, you know, you get cross promotions with, you know, tickets to Disney World discounts, et cetera, like that. So this is where, um, you know, you know, things are going, they want to, like can, these large companies want to be able to interact one on one with their consumers. And, and that and that's where the sort of the technology of the Internet is going with these current restric restrictions on privacy. And Chris, of course, you have a track record of really selecting moonshots, real winners over the mm -hmm. last several years. But in this particular case, your target price is almost, what, six times what they're trading at right now. How yeah. did you get to that target price? And please, don't tell our audience what your target price is. They need to go to your website and get your report from eResearch.com. But how did you place that valuation that provided the target price that you've selected? Yeah, well, I, I do a combination of a revenue multiple as well as a DCF, a five-year DCF, and that's the mathematics of it. But, but why it's sort of out of whack right now with the actual marketplace is because uh, I, I think the market is, is discounting the fact that these two companies are coming together and there's going to be a step function in revenue uh, with Datable uh, uh, sorry, revenue uh, for 2022 and, and going forward because uh, the revenue should double from 2021 to 2022. Uh, and the stock price should be reacting accordingly. And, and right now, uh, I, I think the market is taking a wait and see until the until the sale is complete and the integration is done, and the first uh, you know quarter financials of the new company uh, come out. Well, as usual, Chris, we always appreciate your e-research initiation report. So again, this is an initiation report, not an update. Correct? That's correct. And of course, you can get it at eresearch.com. If anyone has any questions, they can reach out to Chris. And if you don't have his email, send it to me. We'll introduce you. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy.